Hi, we are so excited to be together and share a presentation of Jesus Was Born on Christmas. We'd like to thank everyone who helped make this possible. We hope your Christmas is filled with joy, faith, hope, and love. Out of the stump of David's family will grow a shoot. Yes, a new branch bearing fruit from the old root. And the spirit of the Lord will rest on him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and fear of the Lord. He will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance, nor make a decision based on hearsay. He will give justice to the poor and make fair decisions for the exploited. The earth will shake at the force of his word, and one breath from his mouth will destroy the wicked. He will wear righteousness like a belt and truth like an undergarment. In that day, the wolf and the lamb will live together. The leopard will lie down with the baby goat. The calf and the yearling will be safe with the lion, and a little child will lead them all. The cow will graze near the bear. The cub and the calf will lie down together. The lion will eat hay like a cow. The baby will play safely near the hole of a cobra. Yes, a little child will put its hands in a nest of deadly snakes without harm. Nothing will hurt or destroy in all my holy mountain. For as the waters fill the sea, so the earth will be filled with people who know the Lord. What child is this who lay to rest on Mary's lap is sleeping? Who angels greet with At that time, the Roman Emperor Augustus decreed that a census should be taken throughout the Roman Empire. This was the first census taken when Quirinius was governor of Syria. All returned to their own ancestral towns to register for the census. And because Joseph was a descendant of King David, he had to go to Bethlehem in Judea, David's ancient home. He traveled there from the village of Nazareth in Galilee. He took with him Mary to whom he was engaged, who was now expecting a child. A baby has just been born in a little town called Bethlehem. Yeah. 
while they were there, time came for a child to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. Listen, it's a quiet scene. The cattle are making sounds, but the little baby Jesus is peaceful. No crying he makes most of the time. A star shines above the stable. That's not unusual, of course, but this is one bright star. That night, there were shepherds staying in the field nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Outside town, the scene is even more quiet. The sheep are resting in the night. No problem today. The shepherds think, now we can sleep. But then brightness startled, startles the shepherds. It's the glory of God. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them, and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified, but the angel reassured them. Don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord, has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by this sign. You'll find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the wise men see the baby in the manger, they kneel and worship the baby. They give frankincense, myrrh, and gold. The shepherds hide their faces. They, they are afraid. They see the unusual star. Now they hear music so beautiful, they've never heard anything like it. It sounds like angels singing. The shepherds open their eyes and see an angel choir. Joyful. 
When the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see the thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us all about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. The shepherds hurry in to the stable in Bethlehem. When they see the baby, they thank God for his wonderful gift. Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the reign of King Herod. About that time, some wise men from eastern lands arrived in Jerusalem asking, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star as it rose, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was deeply disturbed when he heard this, as was everyone in Jerusalem. He called a meeting of the leading priests and teachers of religious law and asked, Where is the Messiah supposed to be born? In Bethlehem in Judea, they said, for this is what the prophet wrote. And you, O Bethlehem, in the land of Judea, are not least among the ruling cities of Judea, for a ruler will come from you who will be the shepherd for my people is Israel. Then Herod called for a private meeting with the wise men, and he learned from them the time when the star first appeared. Then he told them, Go to Bethlehem and search carefully for the child. Then when you find him, come back and tell me so that I can worship him too. Far away, three wise men have been talking about their studies and theories. Whoops, there goes that star again. interview the wise men with their way. The star they had seen in the east guided them to Bethlehem and went ahead of them and stopped at the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with joy. The wise men rejoiced that unusually bright star leads them and their camels straight to Bethlehem.
They entered the house and saw the child with his mother, Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasure chests and gave him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. When the wise men see the baby in the manger, they kneel and worship the baby. They give frankincense, myrrh, and gold. Since that time, boys, girls, men, and women visit the manger and offer the gifts of live, love and thanksgiving. They offer prayers to God and service to others. They offer many gifts to those in need. We also come to the manger. When we leave, we take away the hope and joy we experience in Jesus Christ. So I really do need to say thank you to Gretchen and Andrea and all the parents who helped make this production possible. Thank you to all the kids. You guys were great. And you have helped us remember the reason for the season. I am going to pray for us as we pray God's blessing on our homes and on our city. Let's pray together. Lord God, thank you for this season. Thank you that together we can celebrate our faith in Jesus. Thank you for all those who have taken part today. And I pray your blessing on every home that was represented here and on every home in our church. So grant us grace, hold us in this season, and may our hearts know your love. And this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. And a Merry Christmas to everybody. <laughs>